Hi, this is Sherry with HCG, and I'm here with Lisa to show you how to do your 23-day mixture. Hi, so first thing you want to do when you get your package is take a look and make sure that your HCG says 5,000. This is going to mix a 23-day supply. You'll also have a bottle of bacteriostatic or sterile water, a 10cc syringe, and 21 gauge needle. It'll be green. So first thing we're going to do is remove the syringe from the package, keeping in mind that everything inside of here is sterile. We want to make sure this tip doesn't touch anything. Second, we're going to open up the needle. As I peel this back, again, that tip is sterile. We're going to connect these together by twisting them, and we're ready to go. First thing we're going to do is pop the cap off of our water bottle, like that. Remove the cap, keeping in mind that the needle is sterile. I'm going to turn this upside down, insert the needle into the bottle, and we're going to draw out a total of 16 cc's. Because this is a 10 cc syringe, we'll draw out the first six, or excuse me, the first 10, and then we'll draw out the second six. So I'm going to pull that back, and once I have the water to the 10 cc mark, I'm going to turn and waste it down my sink, or in this case, I'm going to use a cup. So that's my first 10. I'm going to go back for my second six, and I'm going to fill it to the six mark on my syringe, just pulling down gently as I go to the black mark that says six. Once that's been removed, we're going to waste that water as well. Okay, now what we want to do is remove the cap from your HCG vial, ready to go. We're going to add somewhere between 5 and 10 cc's to this bottle. It doesn't matter the exact amount because you're going to be replacing it back into the bottle. So as I remove that, I'm going to stick the needle into the top of the bottle and the vacuum will pull the water down into the bottle. Now, recap my needle. And as you look at your bottle, you can gently swirl it and you may see some bubbles in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to let those bubbles sit for about 5 minutes till they're completely dissolved and then we're going to be putting the HCG back into the bottle and I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. Thank you, Lisa.